Let's see if we can get a trade. We didn't see any cross trade yet. But we should be able to get something up here. We're above the I period and J period. We're looking for a, a little cross trade. Alright, let's take the 97s and 97.75. We are short two. 97.75. This is the this is the area from 97 to 99 that there was uh, initiative initiative selling in the uh, D period, and uh, it should be a good area for a short up here. The target on this might be way down. Um, we're definitely forming a balanced day and not a trend day, and the point of control is down in the uh, 89 90 area. So. We're going to take our one and a quarter points and then we're going to put our target in. Um, well, if we don't if we don't bet our position, we stick with the 97.75s, then uh, we'll probably just uh, target a five point, five point run down to the 90, uh, 92s. That's where a high volume line is. A period, B period, C period, D period, E period, F period, I period, and J period all traded there. All right, we're in the 99s. This is the high, uh, high area, the high end of that volume cluster. So we're going to stand tight here. We might better our position up here in the 1300s if we get a chance. Not much volume traded up there in the 13s. All right, there's 13. Oh, dude, you got to be quick when you see that. You got to have your finger on the trigger. Couldn't get the, uh, couldn't get the 13s. Let's take the, uh, let's take the 13s. We're short two more, 13 even. We'll look to give back the 97s. We'll look to give back one of the 13s at 97. Oh, this could be a really nice selling area. <clears throat> there is, of course, the B selling tail that runs from. Well, let's see exactly where it runs from. The B selling tail runs from 13, 7, 375, 130, 375 to 13.11. So there is a potential of running above the C period high, which is 13.0350, into that eight point range. If that happens, of course, uh, hopefully you don't carry any positions up with you. That's why we're looking for our exit at 97.75. We almost hit it, and uh, that'll get us out, uh, break even on the three and 2.25 on the uh, on the other first contract of the second series. So we'll just uh, hang in here. One tick away, we didn't get filled, but we anticipate getting filled. We don't see anything up here that would tell us uh, different. Alright, we need a 97.50 tick to get filled. We're down testing a 98, 98.25. Starting to see some activity on the bid. Starting to see some activity on the ask. Alright, there's a 97.50 tick. So we're out on three contracts uh, and our target to buy one more at 90, 93, 92.75. So we'll see if we can wait for the 92 and three quarters. Of course, our break even stop now is set at 1300. Oh, they took us out. They took us out at 1300 at the high period high. All right, so we didn't get the uh, second on that. We got stopped out, break even. All right, let's make a second uh, trade in the series, potentially. We're up testing the uh, C period. The C period high is 0350. So we uh, didn't quite get there, but let's take a look for some uh, another entry up here in the 0350 to 05 area. Well, so far, we haven't been able to take advantage of that J period high. It's uh, We're about halfway through the period. I think we missed the opportunity on this one. So. We're going to wrap this video and um, we'll 
we'll keep an eye on the, this uh, J period high. We never got above the C period. I was looking for some cross trade up here. The only thing, the only thing we actually had was uh, the high point of control that on the bar, the 800 to 500. That was a high volume uh, buy there. But we didn't get much cross trade. No, no sign that it was the uh, the end. We might get a retracement. If we get a retracement back up, you know, we'll look uh, to enter. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. We'll put it on pause here for just a second and revisit. Wow, I just uh, identified a mistake. I misread the uh, volume and price chart. There was, uh, I was speaking about the 98 areas as an area of initiated resistance. That's not correct. Uh, there is nothing there. Matter of fact, the 98s uh, have relatively low volume, 900, 1,000, 1,800, 1,400. Uh, I was referring, when I mentioned 98, my mind was thinking of the previous point back in the 89s where we took that trade a while ago was um, I think 80 yeah up in the 86 87s hmm that's interesting because the last trade also I referenced 96 to 99 being a high volume area boy got lucky there made a uh, significant mistake and still made money although the uh, profile chart still showed opportunity at that uh, those period highs you know those that D period high the C period high those were uh, logical points for, for resistance. Well, we never got back in. Um, now the market's breaking down into the I period. It's in the J period, testing the uh, mid I period highs. So we're going to produce this video and uh, make sure I don't make that mistake. I need to make sure I'm looking at the right chart. We ended up with that trade on uh, with 2.25 points.